are back here at Shamrock Fighting Championships. Jeremy Johnson along with Adam Meredith. Now we move on to our next bout, which will be Jason Gavril. He'll be taking on Isaac Dancy. Please welcome to the cage, Isaac Dancy. Coming to the cage by way of Cahokia, Illinois, and training out of Flogger Fight Systems, it is Isaac Dancy. Now, the 24-year-old told me this camp is all about wrestling. And Adam, as you know, wrestling is one of the biggest bases for MMA. Yeah, hands down, arguably the best base for MMA. Wrestlers, they're going to have the ability to really dictate where the fight goes, whether it stands up or it goes to the ground. So it's a fantastic base. He also told me that he's all about adapting which is another big thing in the sport. You can never tell where it's gonna end up. You're gonna stand, you're gonna go to the ground. If you can't be ready to change your game plan at a moment's notice, it's a very tough road to hoe. Absolutely, there's nothing predictable once you step into that cage and they close that door. You don't know what your opponent's going to do and you only have a split second to actually implement your game plan. And his opponent, Jason Gabriel. They call him the Silver Fox out of Ravens Ridge MMA. It is Jason Gavril. Now, Jason is one of those kind of guys who's like, I'm going to win it for the older generation. But he also runs a business. He runs the Ravens Ridge full time with his business partner, John Kelly. That's a ton of work that goes into it. But it also gives you some amazing training partners. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Jason Gavril, 46 years old. Six foot two, 159.4 pounds. Isaac Dancy, 24 years old, five foot nine, 158 pounds. Really, this fight is one of those that shows that age is just a number. Jason loves getting in here and mixing it up with the younger guys. I don't. I think in his mind, age is truly just a number. He's not worried about the age at all. He's ready to always put on a show. Keeps the old guys like me happy. So here we go. At a 160-pound catchweight, introducing first on my right, fighting out of the Pappy's Smokehouse Blue Corner, an undefeated fighter with a record of 3-0. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing officially 158 pounds, fighting out of Cahokia, Illinois, Isaac Dancy! His opponent standing across the cage tonight fighting out of the Cardinal GMC Red Corner. A fighter with an MMA record of four wins, two defeats. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 159.4 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, the Silver Fox, Jason Gabriel. Referee Dwayne Best has the call for this contest. This fight is three three-minute rounds. Jason Gabriel in the red tape, Isaac Dancy in the blue. Arguably, this is Gabriel's toughest test to date. Into the action, Gabriel takes the center of the cage. But Dancy looks very quiet and composed. Both guys staying very patient here, trying to fill each other out. Jace with the front kick, nice jab there by yeah, Jason. Yeah, both trying to kind of set the distance, get that feeling out period. Yeah, Jason's the longer of the two fighters. This definitely benefits him more, being able to stay on the outside there. Both guys throwing some kicks, missing. Still trying to just establish that range. Nice jab there by Jason. Isaac staying light on his feet, moving around, keeping his hands up. Not really quite engaging yet, switching. Nice nice front kick there. Yeah, they got they got to start setting some of those up mm, with some kicks. Another kick. I yeah, mean with some punches. You absolutely have to set those kicks up with punches. You can't just throw kicks. You're going to you're going to invite a, a big a big, big shot, shot there out of Gavril. But again, we are seeing Dancy be very composed here. Absolutely. And you know, at the more kicks that Isaac throws, it's kind of given Jason the confidence to really throw forward, like come forward and throw real hard because he's not setting those up. Right. Big Ooh, kick there nice out of Dancy. Kick there by Isaac. 
that's going to start to wear on that front leg a lot. Yeah, those leg kicks add up, and they just they just slowly chip away and slow you down. They, they take away your ability to you know set up any sort of offense. Another leg kick there by Isaac. Another leg he kick. He is there really by starting to chop. The, oh, oh! We see a little bit of a limp there out of Gavril. Oh, and he's got to start checking he, those. Those are obviously in the front of his mind now. He has and to be careful because he exactly. might catch a kick come up top now. Yeah, the big thing we're going to look at now is so okay. Is that bottom one then? Is he going to come up top and Dancy land one to the head as he drops his hands? That's what he definitely has to be aware of and be, and be cautious of. Oh, nice oh, shot. Oh, big takedown there out of Dancy. Isaac now we're going to see Gavril off his back. Pushing him right up to the corner. Under a minute remaining here. Jason just trying to keep that posture broken down. He has a butterfly hook here. Right in the full guard now. Isaac wants to posture up and land some yeah, shots he, here. He's definitely, he's got to try to make a little bit of space. Get away, kind of push to it. That's going to be tough. Jason with those long legs has a, a body triangle here. Which starts to suck the wind out of you as you tighten down. Absolutely, it can definitely take it out of you. And you're, when you have a body triangle on you, it makes it hard to breathe. It can definitely wear on you. He doesn't have it anymore. Jason looks like he's trying to put his... His feet on the hips maybe create some sort of distance there, but Isaac doing a good job just crowding him. Oh, big shots. shots. Raining Ten some big seconds. shots there. I think that was the bell for the Saved round. Saved by the bell. That okay. is it. That is no, it. that's not oh, it. That's not it. It's, it's the second round. Okay, okay. It was saved by the bell. Referee Dwayne Best just came over and told me, he's like, no, he did not stop it. We're that was on the bell. We're still going with the fight. Okay. I was confused. Absolutely. Well, I was too, because it was so close. So, so close. You know, had Isaac not paused for a second, he might have been able to get that finish in the last moment, but there's a little bit of hesitation. Fight is over. Oh! Fight is over. I don't think Jason's able to answer this bell. Okay, Jason so ladies and gentlemen, just bell. got word on this. He, Jason Gavril cannot answer the bell, so they are going to call the fight. The doctor is tending to him right now. We'll get a little bit more information, but there was a lot of shots that were landed. Yeah, I don't know if we can get the replay for that, Jeremy, but you notice Isaac was about to land a fury, a flurry of punches, and then he paused. Now, so let's see if we can get this on the instant replay. We he see, oh, he's just landing heavy, heavy hands. And then that he was a big right one. Right here. That that half a second pause, one to two second pause, was kind of the difference between Dwayne Best stopping the fight and then the round just ending. Maybe he hadn't paused, he could have actually finished it right then and there, but Jason still couldn't answer the bell. Absolutely, let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, with the red corner unable to answer the bell, this contest comes to a close. At the end of round one, your winner by Team KO, Isaac Dancing. A big win there for Isaac Danzig, getting that win here in the Shamrock FC cage. Stopping Jason Gavril, not able to answer the bell.